Good morning, my name is Dr Jeremy McAnulty from New South Wales Health and I'm here to give you an update on COVID for New South Wales for Monday the 29th of November 2021. In the 24 hours to 8 o'clock last night, uh, 150 cases of COVID were reported in New South Wales. In the same period, more than 47,000 tests were reported. In terms of hospitalisations, there are currently 170 uh, people with COVID in hospital, uh, including 25 in intensive care, 10 of whom require ventilation. In terms of vaccination, in New South Wales, 94.5% of people 16 years and over have received their first dose of vaccine and 92.4% are fully vaccinated. Of people aged 12 to 15 years, 81.3% have received their first dose and 76.5% are fully vaccinated. Testing has confirmed three passengers who arrived in Sydney from Southern Africa on Sunday evening, the 28th of November, are positive for COVID-19. They are currently isolating in special health accommodation, along with other arrivals who have been in South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Namibia, Eswatini, Malawi and the Seychelles during the 14 days uh, prior to arrival. One of these three cases is considered likely to be an old infection. Urgent genomic sequencing is underway to determine if the other two people uh, have been infected with a new Omicron variant of concern. Results are expected this evening. Results of genomic sequencing for a person who arrived in Sydney from Southern Africa on the 23rd of November and tested positive for COVID-19 uh, yesterday are expected today. Initial testing indicates this person is unlikely to have the Omicron variant and the person who is fully vaccinated and asymptomatic is isolating at home in Sydney. New South Wales Health confirmed yesterday on Sunday uh, that two overseas travellers who arrived in Sydney from Southern Africa on uh, Saturday evening have been infected with a new Omicron variant uh, of concern. In line with Commonwealth measures, all travellers arriving in New South Wales who have been in South, South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Namibia, Eswatini, Malawi and the Seychelles during the 14-day period before their arrival in New South Wales must enter hotel quarantine for 14 days whether they are vaccinated or not. All travellers who have been in any other overseas uh, country during their 14-day period before arrival in New South Wales must travel directly to their place of residence or accommodation and isolate for 72 hours pending further health advice. It's critical that uh, anyone who has already arrived in New South Wales who has been in any of the nine uh, African countries within the previous 14 days must immediately get tested and isolate for 14 days. And please call New South Wales Health on 1800 943 553. That's 1800 943 553. In this phase of the pandemic, it's the onus on all of us to keep each other safe, um, especially the people in the community who are most vulnerable. So we strongly recommend wearing a mask uh, in indoor spaces where physical distancing isn't possible. Uh, and be vigilant for symptoms and immediately get tested and isolate until you receive, until you receive a negative result, uh, should you get any symptoms at all. So thanks again for everyone for coming forward to get vaccinated. Um, if you're eligible for that vaccine, for getting boosters uh, six months afterwards and for coming forward for testing if you have even the mildest symptoms. Thanks very much.